In this video, I'm going to show you how to use an HTML include to include HTML, JavaScript, and CSS on your HTML documents, and we're getting started right now. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from Higher Learning Lab, where we help you get better at coding so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, or for your business. If it's your first time here, make sure you click on the subscribe button and then click on the bell notification icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome tutorials for you. And with that out of the way, let's get into the screen capture of this tutorial. I'll see you there. So on the left hand side here, we have our code. This is what we're going to look at. And at the very top, the very first one we have is this one here, and that's what's used to include CSS. We have the link tag. So we open our pointy bracket, link, and then we have REL, meaning relationship, and this tells the browser that it's a style sheet. And we have the type, which is text slash CSS, and then followed by the path to the file. Now, when you have the, when you're doing includes, you have to make sure the file exists on the internet and that it's accessible by, by the page. So the browser is going to see this, it's going to call out to this file and try to retrieve its information. And we have to make sure it's accessible, otherwise it won't work. And this is how we include CSS. To include JavaScript, we use a script tag. So we have open pointy bracket script. For the type, we have text slash JavaScript. The, the type parameter is optional, but it just helps the browser more quickly understand what it's doing and actually increases page load speed a little tiny bit or improves it a little tiny bit. And then we have our href parameter again for the link, and then we have the path to the script. And again, we have to make sure this is accessible and it's online and the page can actually access it. And the CSS tag is self-closing, like we see here, there's no actual closing tag, but the script tag, even for the include, needs to have a closing script tag. Those are the two major differences between those two. And then we can actually include HTML files as well using what well, we have we use the div parameter or the div tag with this parameter which is w3 dash include dash html and with this parameter we can include html pages and the content from the html page is pulled out and put into the body of the page so wherever this tag is included is where the content of the that html page will live for scripts and CSS, those are more often than not included in the head tag and they're never actually seen on the page. Whereas the HTML tags or the HTML includes, that content is seen on the page because HTML is usually text or structure and you want that on the page. And this again, you have to have the closing div tag and you have to have the path to an HTML file that is publicly accessible. So that's how easy it is to include HTML, CSS, and JavaScript files into your HTML documents. Just takes one line of code. It's super simple. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, click on the subscribe button, then click on the bell notification icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome content, and then click on that card that just appeared in the top right of this video for some awesome resources. And until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.